and welcome to another episode of FUBAR. Today, I want to show you the easiest way to deploy a container using AWS. If you're interested in learning more about serverless, cloud computing, or software engineer in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post videos every week. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm not a container person, so for me, whenever I need to deploy a containerized application, and I struggle a little bit with ECS and all that. So I want to show you one way to deploy a containerized application that is so simple. For that, we are going to use LightSail. LightSail is a service that AWS provides and is a little bit detached from the normal AWS services because it's so simple. It's perfect if you are getting started or if you don't want to <laughs> think about anything. You just drop your container and it works. LightSail offers build to our servers in the cloud and you might be thinking, well, we have EC2. No, this is extremely simple. It has all the elasticity and power of EC2 with the simplicity of a hosting service that you might host your website on. So this is perfect for hosting your website applications. If you have to, I don't know, and your small business, some application that you want to host so everybody can access like your accounting system or your CMR, you can use this service. So this service, uh, if you're using WordPress, it comes with WordPress install, or if you need an empty virtual server with some particular operating system, you can configure it. Or if you need a database like MySQL or Postgres, you can get one. And also you can get a containerized application. In this example, I want to show you how to deploy a containerized application. My container images is in Docker Hub, so it's very simple. It's something we are all familiar with. And if we are not, we can go to the Docker tutorial follow the steps and see how we can put our image in the Docker Hub. And from there, we want to deploy it into LightSail. For that, you will need an AWS account. You will need to have a image or a container image in Docker Hub. That's simple. I will be using the image that comes with the Docker 101 tutorial. So everybody can follow the same steps, the links in the description box and get the same result. So let's go to the code. So here you can see I have my image in Docker Hub. It's called Mavi 888 getting started. And then my image is uh, have it in my computer as well. I follow the steps that uh, the Docker tutorial uh, showed me and I got this image. This application is a note application. It's very simple and we are not getting into the details of it because it's not relevant to this video. So now we are going to our AWS console and open LightSail and there we will see all the different tabs with different things that LightSail has to offer, the instances, the containers, the databases and other things. We are going to containers and we are going to create a new container service. And then we first thing we need to do is to define where we want to create this container service. This is an AWS service, so basically LightSail has support for the AWS regions. Not for all of them, it has a limited set uh, where it's available. If you're in Europe, Ireland always is a good <laughs> choice. If you are in Latin or United States, pick something in US, or if you're in Asia, you have also some options there. I will pick Ireland, I'm in Helsinki. And the next thing we need to do is to choose the capacity of the machine that will be hosting this containerized application. We have from small machines to very big machines, and you can see the memory and the processor capacity described there. And also the price is very clear how much each of these machines costs. We can also choose the scale on how uh, many of these machines we want, if we want one, two or 20, and that will also show the price of how much this service will cost. Remember, if you are in production, it's good at least to have two. So then uh, the system is a little bit resilient. If one machine is down, the other one is active. But that's up to you. I will choose a nano and one instance because I'm cheap. And that will cost me around $7 per month. The pricing on LightSail is pretty transparent, so that's something I really like. Let's set up now our first deployment. We can use a example application or we can use our own. I will pick our own and I will put a name to it, getting started, because I'm so original. Then we need to give the container image and that's the URL from our image from Docker Hub in this case. So that's good. 
we put it in the um, in the image box and then we need to give a couple of configurations. The only configuration this application needs is opening the port 3000. So we are going to do that. Then we can add up to 10 containers in the same image, in the same machine. So if you have multiple containers that you need, you can add more different containers and they will be all coexisting in the same machine. So that's great. So you can do that. I will only have one for this demo. Then we can have an endpoint where our application needs to start. In this case, in the port 3000 and uh, basically just the URL of the domain. We don't need anything in particular. And then we are done. We can review that everything is right and create the container. The creation will take a while, a couple of minutes. So while it, that's going on, I want to review a little bit of the tabs that are in the top. We can see the public domain that will be the URL for our application and our container. Then we can see the public endpoint. We can see logs if we have uh, something there. We can see that there's a version one being deployed currently. When it's available, we will see that as well. Then we can see the capacity that we reserve. In this case, a nano machine with one scale, or we could change it later on if we need more. Then we have the custom domain. So if you need a particular domain, you can get it from here. And you can also add security like TLS or SSL certificates. If you want me to show you that in a future video, give a thumbs up and I will see what I can do. Also, we can see the metrics on how the uh, utilization for the CPU and memory for this container is going. Now I will speed this up until the container finished deploying because it takes a couple of minutes and I don't want to wait. So now our container is active and we can go to the URL in the top and click there and we will be able to see our application. This is the application that um, basically the tutorial from Docker uh, provides. It's a note application. We can add items, remove items and things like that. Nothing very special, <laughs> but it's good as a demo application. And there we can go to metrics and we can start seeing some metrics on the utilization of our container. So that's pretty neat. One important thing is that Lightsail has a nice free tier for you to experiment and play with. You can have 750 hours in your free tier uh, for free from Lightsail. So if you do these experiments, it will be free. And that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to show you the easiest way to deploy a container in AWS. I see you in the next episode of Uwa. Ciao, ciao.